Hi there. In this video, we will see if I can use an SSD inside of a NAS. Okay, just a bit of uh, background. This particular NAS is not used for uh, lots of uh, data and many writes. It basically just has, I don't know, I have a 4 terabyte hard drive in it now and I'm using below 5% of the capacity and sometimes even less. Basically just some log files are being kept on this thing. So, uh, in my opinion, an SSD can handle this without an issue because it's not lots of writes to the SSD. The amount of data being written is extremely small. So, in theory, you could use an SSD on a NAS that uh, doesn't have lots of data always being written to it to wear out the SSD if I don't know, you keep on it your songs collection or something like that. Yes, it's okay because you are only reading them and from time to time copying something, but rarely. If you, uh, I don't know, uh, create a Plex server, I think uh, it's called. Uh, yeah, you will be reading, writing, reading, writing, reading, writing because you don't keep a collection of movies. You watch it, delete it, watch it, delete it, whatever. Uh, so for that, an SSD would not be good. So think of what you need to do with it. Obviously, a mechanical hard drive is ideal, but SSDs start to get bigger and bigger and bigger in size and smaller and smaller and smaller in price. And I had a, uh, an SSD laying around. I didn't want to go through the trouble of selling it, uh, whatever, blah, blah, blah. And the added benefit is that um, in case of power outages, who knows what, an SSD less likely to break than a regular hard drive. Although this will be getting a UPS uh, soon, just, just in case. So uh, yeah, let's open it up and start installing the SSD and uh, I'll get back to you over time. That's basically all I can do for this video and tell you how it performs if I find any issues with it whatsoever. But again, this will not be written onto a lot. It is being written onto it uh, quite frequently, but tiny amounts of data. So yeah. Okay, so basically we have the SSD inside this thing. I copied the file just to make sure everything is working. Let me try and copy it again. Uh, yeah, replace the file, whatever. It's going at the speed it was uh, normally going all the time, so we are not benefiting, at least on my particular setup and network, from uh, uh, having an SSD in there. But again, I needed to have it for my particular reasons, and I wanted to have it mostly, mo probably more than I needed. And uh, yes. Ask me in the comments how this thing works over the years. Hopefully I will not have any problems because again, on this, it will be written a really, really, really small amount of data over the time. You can see how much I have used, not even 10% I have used uh, from it up until now. So I don't think the SSD will fail and if it fails at least you will find out uh, by asking me in the comments and you know not to do this. But again, if you use your NAS for writing, deleting, writing, deleting, then an SSD I think it's a no-no. Okay, so the SSD has been in use for a few good months already. I think the date will confirm it because I don't really remember when I installed it. If my camera would actually focus on it, please focus on something. Anyway, there's that. And I literally found something in the menu of my uh, NAS unit that says HTT slash SSD in storage manager. And it can even estimate when your SSD is close to failing. So yes, 
It seems modern NAS units are uh, quite happy to handle SSDs without issues. So, uh, yeah, me uh, working with uh, a NAS unit uh, the last time about 10 years ago, before this particular unit, I didn't really know that things have progressed uh, in the SSD direction, which is awesome. So, yep, we can use an SSD uh, without issues. Just keep in mind they don't like to be written on too much. They wear out. So, yeah, depending. If you mostly do reading or only write small amounts of data, then you are good to go from, from my... Uh, opinion because what I'm doing seems to be working but as you could see it's still quite empty so yeah and uh, that's about it hope this video uh, helps somebody out there that was thinking if he can uh, use an SSD in his NAS yes most likely you can although as you could see it doesn't have directly uh, a nice way of uh, plugging the SSD inside you kind of need to DIY it at least in my model but uh, yeah, presumably most uh, Synology, Synology, uh, I have no idea how you pronounce that, can handle SSDs. So yeah, there's that. Again, hope this video helps you, in which case please give it a like, check out my other videos, maybe subscribe, and see you in the next one. Bye.